for five weeks, downtown Omaha is transformed into this winter wonderland. Oh, so gorgeous. There's thousands of lights, ice skating, fireworks, and family activities that make up the Holiday Lights Festival, an annual celebration of community. Welcome okay, Marjorie Moss of Blue Cross Blue Shield and Miranda Stark from T-Mobile. Good to see both of you. Thank you so much for having the us. Big day is almost it is here. Almost here. All two days planning. away. Yeah. We just had the mayor on last week. She mm -hmm. flipped the switch for the Christmas music on Star 104.5, and she was telling us all about this celebration on Thanksgiving night. Yes. Um, yes. What is, what's going on that evening? Well, that evening, I'll let Miranda. Yeah, absolutely. So Thanksgiving evening at 540, we kick it off with the Omaha's Children's Choir. So they're going to bring us into the countdown at 6. The mayor will take us through um, this really fun countdown. They're going to light up Jean Leahy Mall with hundreds of thousands of white Christmas mm -hmm. lights. From there, we're going into concert at 7 at the Holland Center. It's also free. The parking and the concert will be free. So we invite people to come down and get a seat and be a part of this really excellent holiday spirit event. And that's at 7. Okay. The this concert. concert starts at 7. And there's a big performer. Who's going to be performing? Yes. So, well, the Nebraska uh, Wind Symphony will be there, uh -huh. but also led by, um, she is a famous local singer, Camille Montoya Moten. Yes. Yes. So I'm excited to see her. It'll be my first year to be a part of this. Right. And um, she's supposed to be fantastic, a really versatile Oh, singer. she's wonderful. She's, she's yeah. been, been on the show, show a good dozen times. Good. So. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, mm -hmm. So she'll be performing. Also exciting this year, a change in the venue for the ice rink. Can you explain yes, what the ice yes. rink is? Yes, yes, 10th and Capitol. So last year it was in front of the CenturyLink Center, but now the Capitol District's open. So yep. it's right near the Marriott Hotel. Wow. Ribbon cutting's actually tonight. Mm -hmm. So we're excited for the NRG Energy Ice Rink to open. And admission's $8.00 and plus tax, but the proceeds, most of that goes to the Shine the Light on Hunger campaign. And their goal with ConAgra Brands Foundation is to raise 1.4 million meals um, nice. over the course of the holiday and for, for the food bank for the heartland. Yeah, and they'll do it. They'll hit that goal too, as long as you all go up and support them down there mm -hmm. at, the, at the mall. Well, and the, another exciting thing, the ice rink wasn't open on Thanksgiving before, No, never correct? on Thanksgiving before. So now it's Thanksgiving, it's, it, well, uh, ribbon cutting tonight, but right. all the way through Valentine's Day. So yeah. and it's in, and it's a naturally it's a natural water ice mm -hmm. rink, but they have mm -hmm. it chilled. So it's mm -hmm. even 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 on nice warmer days, it's going to be chilled. So mm -hmm. and it, you can use it the whole holiday season. Yes, yeah. and We're, it's the permanent location now. Permanent location, yeah, yeah. Right. capital district. Looking forward to getting down there and seeing that. Also, yeah. this is this is a really a five week mm -hmm. festival. So there's activities going on all the way through. Can, Absolutely, can, yes. December third is the Wells Fargo Family Festival and. All the, I should not say all, but many downtown arts and cultures organizations mm -hmm. have their doors open free, free of charge for families and then Ollie the Trolley makes the rounds all the way through that, that, that circuit of activity all mm -hmm. from noon to five on December 3rd. Okay, and again, this supports the Shine, uh, the Light on Hunger campaign. Do you want to explain that concept one more time for us, the campaign? Yes, yeah, so um, Marjorie is more familiar with it. I'm a relocation to Omaha for the first mm -hmm. time. Oh, we're okay. very excited, though. So we're yes. bringing um, canned goods and items for, I believe there's blue barrels blue to ba donate. Blue barrels mm -hmm. at, at Baker's supermarkets, as well as arts and cultural locations mm -hmm. throughout the downtown Omaha area. But the the proceeds from the ice skating rink is the is the primary mode to support the Shine Light and Hunger campaign. Mm -hmm. So so the goal is to, is to raise 1.4 million meals for the, for the food bank for the Heartland, and really the in-kind gifts plus the plus the the cash donations mm -hmm. really just amplify what the food mm -hmm. bank's able to do for for people who are under resourced through, through the holiday season. So. Right. Well, blue, blue, I'm sorry, Blue Cross, Blue Shield, T-Mobile, those two organizations. Mm -hmm. Why do both of your organizations get involved in this event? Well, go, go ahead. For, yeah, for us, I think it's really important for T-Mobile to be a part of the community. We're new to Nebraska. We're a brand new company here. Mm -hmm. So we need to be a part of the community to understand how to best serve the customers of Nebraska in Omaha and Lincoln. So we hope to continue to be a part of these types of events throughout the, the years coming so that we can really learn the, the demographic and be able to serve the need here. Yeah. Right. Well, and on the other side of the coin, we've been here for almost 75. You've been here a long time, more, yeah, Blue Cross Blue Shield. Yeah, over 75 years. And so we're a state-based, not-for-profit health insurance company that insures the entire state. But we love our headquartered city. And we love that this is kind of the crown jewel of the community calendar for the mm -hmm. year. And we said if we can make an investment that makes a big difference for the families to enjoy the holiday season, then we would love to be part of that. So, yes. so 
And Blue Cross Blue Shield has a strong commitment to the community as far as health and wellness, human services, education, but this is an opportunity to really just have fun and be part of that holiday spirit that everybody loves so much. And there's other, there's other sponsors as well. Uh, remember that on December 2nd, that's when the holiday lights go up in North and South Omaha, mm -hmm. thanks to the Sherwood yeah. and Hozier Foundation. So this really is not just about downtown, it's about the entire community really feeling right. the holiday spirit. So much fun going on. I mean, I won't be able to be there this weekend, but the fact that it goes on for a while, I'm excited to see all the lights down there. Right. But the weather is going to be nice, we hear yeah, on yeah, Thursday, nice, hopefully. Yes, yeah, like, like 55 way. degrees, yeah. like yeah. we won't be super bright bundled up, but all yeah. the parking's free downtown, yes. so. Great question, that was my next question. Mm -hmm. what, what, what tips do you have for families that are gonna head down to this? Because there's gonna be a lot of people down there. Yeah. There will be a lot of people. Parking is free, as Marjorie mentioned. Um, the concert is also free, and it's not ticketed. So I would recommend if you're coming for the show, come early to get your seat. Um, if you have accessibility needs, the downtown library, you can view um, the lighting ceremony from indoors. Mm -hmm. oh, that's um, so nice. they're gonna, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So we want everyone to come and be a part of this and, and join in the holiday fun. And fun time it is. Are you heading down there? Uh, I'm not sure yet. Thanks for putting me on the spot, though. Holiday <laughs> Lights Fest <laughs> HolidayLightsFestival.org. You can find out all the information there. You probably do want to get down there a little bit earlier because they're expecting thousands of people down there. It's uh, mm -hmm. uh, on, on Thanksgiving uh, Day on Thursday. Yes. Well, if not on Thursday, we'll be there another time because we got to check it out. I'm really well, excited. The sounds of the season throughout the Gene Leahy Mall and yes. the old market. All, all like year, it, it's, yeah. it, it just is season. a very festive atmosphere mm -hmm. the entire time, all, all five weeks. Well, yeah. thanks for you know supporting the, the Shine the Light on Hunger campaign and for all that you guys are doing with your organizations as well. Thank you so much, for having, so much for having us here. Good to see you guys. Thanks yeah. a lot for coming. Good to see you guys too. Thank you.